This is a swim or a waist trainer. I don't wear this thing all the time. When I get closer to prep, like I said, we're like almost eight weeks out now. Um, I'll wear this thing during cardio just to keep my core tight and heat up my midsection during cardio. I feel it helps pull that little bit of water, water weight off and um, just keep my core engaged while I'm training. So I don't encourage to wear these things all the time, especially when, you know, when you're eating. Don't wear it when you're eating, but you know, for cardio, I like it. And it's always worked for me. This is actually the same scream I've had for like three years. Don't worry, I've washed it, so it's not too gross. This is Iron Man Japan. They use uh, my cover on a few different countries. This is the same cover from Australia. So January 2016, so this is one of the later ones in Iron Man I've been in. A couple of pages spread in here. I'm gonna lift it out right there. Never know which lid fits which one. Found the match. Okay, so we're about to get started with some fast cardio. Every single morning I wake up, the first thing I do is I take my branched chain amino acids by Evogen. It's uh, our cell chem. And I also take our carnitine, which is going to help with. Um, Converting fat to energy it helps heat my body up. Really helps me get sweating. So these products I like to take before cardio to help maintain my muscle mass, help burn fat, and really just help accelerate the process and get me started throughout my day. All right, let's do it. take the win. So, like I said previously, I'm willing to suffer through the pain at all costs to win. So, this is just one of the things I, I gotta go through and I gotta do. And uh, just do my best to do the smile on my face, no matter how much I don't want to do it. But I know in the long run, it's gonna make me better. So, that's why we do it. Eating is obviously a huge part of prep for Olympia. Um, meal prep is very important. So I am running low on food today. I don't have any meals prepped or made. So we gotta go to the grocery store, pick up some protein, probably some chicken and some fish, get some carbs, some sweet potato. And we'll come back here and we're gonna get grilling. So gotta get stocked up and ready for the rest of the week and keep my body fueled up. You can smell the ripeness and go find out about how sweet it smells. You can tell by the color too. Like this one's really great, it's probably not as ripe. Pineapple's no good here. Memories, that is all I'm taking with me. So goodbye. Please don't cry. We both know I'm not what you Oh, oh, I can't wait to eat all this stuff. And I will always love you. Ice cream, man. I'm a Ben and Jerry's lover. I we, I'll show you what I like. Let's go. Let's go. Just take a, a gander at the uh, good old ice cream. So the center is an actual peanut butter cookie. Can you even fathom that? Like a cookie, ice cream around it with more cookies inside. Pretty happy with that. 48 years old. It's my first time working with him for a competition. He's tried getting his pro card at a few different shows. 
and I took over about three months ago and this speech man has just completely transformed his physique. Buying a house is something I really want to do because it's just a good investment. You know, I'm spending so much money for on rent, you know, when it could be going towards a mortgage payment, working towards something I can actually own and become an asset. You know, renting out and spending as much money as I am, I'm not, you have no assets. You know, you know, it doesn't build up, make you better. I can't turn around and just throwing money away. So, you know, real estate is something I'm, I'm interested in as well. And, you know, once I buy my first house, maybe that's going to open the doors and other houses keep me more interested in learning about the market. We are here at the Huntington Beach YMCA. That's right, I train at YMCA, but this gym is badass. I've been training here for about two months now. I've absolutely fallen in love with it. It's probably my favorite gym I've ever trained at. The lighting's insane, the equipment's awesome. These used to be an old Gold's gym, so it's pretty badass inside. You're gonna walk in and think it looks like a childcare, like a senior citizen home, and then you walk in through the back and you got paradise, so. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> uh, my feeling towards Olympia, I mean, it's, this will be my, my fourth Olympia. So, you know, I've had the experience coming in. I know what to expect. So the, the uncertainty or the wonder isn't really there as much. I know going into Olympia, you know, the caliber of competition I'm be facing. I know it's improving every single year, but, um, you know, I, I feel really good. I feel confident. I know I'm bringing an improved package from last year. I've been working hard all year long. I stayed in much better shape in my offseason and made some great improvements, unlike I have in previous years where I've kind of gotten out of shape in the offseason. I really stayed on top of it this year and really I uh, wanted to capitalize on improving uh, some of the weak points that I have. That way when I step on stage this year, you know, it's going to be a definitive win again. And you know, I really want a perfect score this year. I want ones across the board. I don't want anybody to have a point on me. Last year I was really close to a perfect score and that was my goal last year. And you know, I'm fortunate I got the win again, but that perfect score wasn't there. So in 2016, that's my goal, is to get a perfect score across the board with all the judges and you know, bring a physique that's really gonna stand out and be one that we talked about for years to come. I feel my whole life I've been having an uphill battle of dealing with certain situations that have kind of primed me for the situations I've been dealing with, dealing with in adulthood. And you know, I feel that because I went through those things previously that I'm able to handle them a little better, I'm able to understand them a little better. And you know, my biggest thing and I'm trying to instill myself is even when I have so much negative energy around me, you know, trying to do the right thing all the time and trying to be a good person in everything you do and every decision you make, it will eventually turn up the negative energy into positive energy and positive things will start coming your way. You know, I'm a firm believer in good things happen to good people and, you know, there's only so much bad that can happen before that it takes a turn for the positive. You know, it's a team effort right now. And, you know, I don't just have Olympia to focus on just, you know, primarily, I also have a business I'm learning as well. You know, both are very important to me. Obviously, Olympia is everything to me. But, you know, at the same time, you know, we're looking to succeed in every aspect, like I said previously. And, you know, uh, it's just another thing I gotta take on and, and deal with and another thing that we're gonna accomplish.